Hi everyone, it's Julie from Yummy Men and Kick-Ass Chicks, and welcome to the March 18th edition of This Week, Next Week. Now, this week, um, a little while ago I placed an order through cafepress.ca for some fun reading t-shirts, like, and uh, while I was there, I spotted some pins, and I thought they were really fun, and I thought that uh, I had the perfect place for them. This is my sack I do, my backpack. I really like my backpack. I've had it for a long time, and uh, even though it's uh, it's kind of weird, but I, I like to, to carry this with me because it leaves my hands free so I can face after the kids and stuff like that. I like to decorate my backpack. Apparently I am 12 and a big nerd. <laughs> I have my Canada flag on there. I have my Rocky Mountain crest. I, I've been to the Rocky Mountains quite a few times. I love it. Love it. Gorgeous there. And my flower. Anyways. I used to have more, but they fell off. So when I saw some pins that were book related and reading related, I should say, I um, I said that would be so cool on my back and back on my second nose. So let me share with you what I picked up. Jason rolls his eyes every time I show him this, and then I show him often because apparently I think it's funny when he rolls his eyes. Uh, sorry, this is gonna be a little mucked up there, but all right, there is the reading is sexy on the bottom. This one here is Mac from Beaver Series, Karen Remoning. Um, that one I actually did not get from Cafe Press. I got it from the uh, website, from Karen Remoning's website. I also got a Baron's Books of Bubbles. This one I'll read in a second because it's, it's ready. And then up top, I got I'd Rather Be Reading. One for my blog. Hee -hee, I thought it'd be fun. I made myself a little pin. The tiniest pin ever, but it's cute. Uh, Black Dagger Brotherhood. I love this picture, so when I saw there was a pin, I was really excited. And this one is Boys and Books Are Just Better. Yeah. Anyways, that made me feel. The pin, this one here, that has all the writing on it. Uh, Jason claims that if he saw me on the bus with this, he'd smack me. Which is a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> but, um, I, I'm convinced that those of you who are avid book readers will get a big kick out of this. Because I know I did. It says, naturally you're out of book space. Everyone is always out of book space. If you're not out of book space, you're probably not worth knowing mean but funny anyways that's my <laughs> I want to share that with you I thought you guys might get a kick out of some of the pins um, balloon wise I only made a couple this week because well I'll tell you in a sec I didn't love my penguin the last time so I found a new design I like this one better and I also made a crocodile He's fun. Anyways, instead of learning new balloons I've also been working on the balloons that I already knew because I'm working on a website to have um, potential clients want to come and see my designs and stuff like that. So that's that's what I'm working on. But of course, to have a website, we needed a name, something I could call myself. And we finally have one. Jason, in this case, was a genius. And he came up with my name. And he came up with Julie Balloonie. I love Julie Balloonie. I think it's a fantastic name. Cute for kids, but not too hokey. and and it was okay, I really hokey, but that's the point. I would go in there twisting balloons for goodness sakes. So that's my name when I'm balloon twisting. JulieBalloon.com is the site. It's a mess. I'm trying my hardest to do it by myself. So far it's working, but it's still not nowhere near finished. But um, anyway, so that's my big news for that. It's getting along. It's coming along. It's, uh, I think within a month I'll probably be ready to start like dropping my cards off at the game store and stuff like that. So yay, Julie Balloony! Now, um, Blogland, I made a special stop at a vampire book club on Monday. Chelsea invited me to talk a little bit about my book escapes. You know, like the kind of books if you're in a rut, or if you just need to, uh, like a comfort read, the kind of thing, that kind of book. It's those, so I, I went there and I talked about it. I'm going to post the link somewhere down there. And uh, so you can come visit. That was a lot of fun. Reading-wise, I did read Badlands by Celeste Delaney quite enjoyed it. I uh, posted that review this morning. I tried to read Possession by A.D. Blackburn. I'm not, do not finishing it yet. I just think that I was having an off day when I was reading it because it was, I was at chapter three and I was really confused. <laughs> I didn't quite get what was going on. What were these characters? What was going on? So I put it aside and uh, I'll get back to it. I'll try it again. And I put that aside. I got to read uh, *Primal Pleasure* by Sydney Summers, 
this is the third book in the series, and so far it's on par. I'm almost done, and it's on par with um, the other two. I'm liking it. It's cute. It's really fun. So that one, by the way, the, the Primal Pleasure is going to post on Tuesday. Now, next week, reading-wise, I need your help. I have a little bit of a lull. There's a book, a couple books that I was expecting, and I didn't come in yet. So that means that I can sneak something else in, and because March break will soon be finished, I should have a little bit more reading time, which means I can actually read a book and not just a novella. Now, I've asked my usual people for help, and they have been useless. <laughs> Sorry, but they all love both of these books so much that neither could pick. No one can pick. I went to Goodreads. I checked my Goodreads friends. Everyone who has read these books have given it five stars, both of them, or four stars. Never a three or anything lower. Even the, the main rating on Goodreads is about the same. So if either, like if any of you have read both of these books and can give me a, a little push as to which one I should read, please do. Book one is A Brush of Darkness by Alison Hang, and book two is First Grave on the Right by Dorinda Jones. Both are supposed to be fantastic urban fantasies, and I need to read just one for now. I will get to the other one absolutely for sure, but I just don't have the time right now. I can only read one. So please help me and tell me which one to read. <laughs> After that, I'm hoping my other books come in, and uh, I'll talk next week about what they are and if they came and all that stuff. The last thing I want to talk to you about this week is a fun post I have coming up on Monday. Monday is when I post my question. Um, it's usually a book-related question, and I ask you guys to answer. And I, I love how many of you comment and answer. It always makes me smile. And some of the answers are always, always amaze me. Always make me smile and fantastic. So keep it up. But this week, I'm working on a question about pen names. And I was on Twitter and while I was working on this post. And I noticed that there were a few authors poking around. I'm like, you know, I'll ask them just for the hell of it. It might be fun. So I asked them my question. And I was shocked at some of the answers. Apparently, some of these authors, those are pen names. I didn't realize. Maybe I should do a little more research before starting to ask them some questions. But at the same time, it's not like they would say, this is my pen name. So anyways, I, I got a whole bunch of authors who answered my question. And I'll be posting their answers. Um, I still have Delaney. I have Jennifer. I have Louis Leon, Tommy Metting, Zoe Archer, Carolyn Klein. Klein. That was a French moment there. <laughs> Carolyn Crane. So, oh no, it's going to be a fantastic question slash little post. And uh, Twitter for that, love. Authors on Twitter are so much fun. They're so nice. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad that I finally got onto the Twitter bandwagon because I'm really liking it. Weekend, I'm doing nothing. Nothing! And I don't care. It's actually going to be nice after this March break to have just a quiet, you know, just typical laundry and that kind of thing. So, as for you guys, whether you have nothing planned like me, or if you have something that fabulous planned, I hope you have a very safe and happy weekend. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week. A tanto, everyone.